can't kiss either. I can't, I, know, I, can't, I can't either. I can't, I can't either. I can't either. It's so weird. Yes, Rachel LeBiz and Tom Sandoval had all the signs of a month-long relationship. The tips that Vanderpump Rules fans missed, from aligning necklaces to out-of-the-ordinary interviews. Vanderpump Rules has had several controversies and stunning events in its 10 years on television, especially in connections to the cast members' relationships and the complex web they spin. Even though they were been signals that went unnoticed until recently, nothing could have prepared viewers of the Bravo series for the startling revelation that Tom Sandoval and Rachel LeViz have been having an affair for months. The news is unexpected, not just because Sandoval and co-star Ariana Maddox have a, a nine-year history together, now appears to be finished, but also because LeViz was said to be seeing Sandoval's best friend and business partner, Tom Schwartz. She was also briefly engaged to James Kennedy, another co-star. Who knew what, when, and how has become a topic of the discussion since the revelation? Was her fawning towards Schwartz a ruse? When did LeViz and Sandoval start to develop a closer bond? Where are they ever going to tell Maddox the truth? Vanderpump Rules has been filming in the wake of the shocking revelation, so these questions should be addressed shortly and throughout the current season. There are a few freshly discovered indications that LeViz and Sandoval were having an affair for the time being. The fact that both LeViz and Sandoval have been sporting lightning bolt necklaces, both on social media and at a public events. It's one indication of a deeper bond between the two that followers discovered after the stories. According to People, followers noticed that while LeViz wore a lightning bolt necklace on occasion during the past six months, Sandoval wore one of a more frequent basis, fans think it was a way of, for them to demonstrate their dedication to one another. The logo of TomTom, Tom, one of the bars that Sandoval and Schwartz co-own, features a lightning bolt as well. It's been suggested that Sandoval and LeViz have been dating for at least six months. Halloween would thus unquestionably fall inside that time frame. In most extras is the name of the cover band that Sandoval plays in. Fans have observed that LeViz attending more performances than you might anticipate a friend to attend, oftentimes alone or without other cast members. Of course, Maddox was there as well, but she had been dating Sandoval for almost 10 years. Bravo producer Andy Cohen discussed how Maddox and LeViz watched Sandoval perform at the October fan event on Monday's episode of Radio Andy. There were speculations that LeViz and Schwartz shared a kiss at the Coachella Music Festival in April 2022. According to Us Weekly, Schwartz, who divorced his wife and co-starred on Vanderpump Rules, Melanie, in March 2022, rejected the claim on Twitter and stated that he wasn't even at Coachella. On March 1st, just two days before TMZ revealed the romance, LeViz and co-star Sheena Shea made an appearance on Watch What Happens Live. When Cohen asked them which Tom was hotter during a game in which they each had to yell out their responses simultaneously, they both said Sandoval. LeViz said on the current season of Vanderpump Rules, that she has a crush on Schwartz, which shot Shay and Cohen. During the subsequent... ...commercial break, Cohen claimed on radio Andy that he overheard a conversation between the two women. Shay informed LaViz that she had selected Sandoval because she was certain he would respond with Schwartz. Cohen claims that LaViz replied, Well, Sandoval has abs, shrugged to her co-star. Cohen claimed that he didn't think twice about it at the time, but that following the revelation of the affair, he messaged Shay to discuss it. A February 8th Watch What Happens live broadcast that included Sandoval and Schwartz reads differently in light of the scandal. Schwartz was anxious and frequently turned to Sandoval for assistance with his responses when he was questioned about his flirtation with Rachel during their presence. During the show, Cohen... I love you. I love you too. <laughs> but I love you too brought this up and he expanded on it on Radio Andy. There was an unusual feeling between them while Schwartz and Sandoval were on the screen, according to Cohen, who claimed it was probably premiere night. Throughout, Schwartz appeared to be seeking direction from Sandoval regarding the right answers, so the crucial query is, when did Schwartz learn of this? This is one of the major questions, after all. Fans are also interpreting other interviews, such as one from July 2022, where Lavie's claimed to have become close to Sandoval. What do you think about the pick? We can have more of this. Always stay tuned and see you on the next one.